Welcome to Survival on the Budget Made Easy. This is the Coleman coffee pot. It's nine cups. I got it off of Amazon for right around $13. If you're interested in learning more, I'll be right back. Welcome back to Survival on a Budget Made Easy. Now, when I first got this, it was all nice and shiny, but I threw it in the dishwasher, and I put the label back on so I didn't lose it. But when I first got it, it was all nice and shiny. You're supposed to hand wash this, which I didn't do, and you're supposed to rub a bar of soap on it so it doesn't blacken when you put it over the campfire. Okay, has a percolator, little basket, Everything comes apart. I guess for easy washing. Um, I've never used one of these before, and uh, I basically got it for like camping. But it's good for like when the power goes out. If you got a gas grill, put it over the gas grill and cook on it. Um, put it over the fire and boil your water, make a coffee on it. But it's cold outside, so I'm not going to go outside and use the grill or start a campfire just to make a pot of coffee. So I'm just going to go ahead. And use it on my electric stove to see how it works. So let's head over to the stove and get it started. Okay, I don't know if you can see this or not, but it has markings on the outside. And you can see them on the inside too. So I'm going to go ahead and put nine cups of water in this to get started. I got my container, so it says just add coffee to taste. Okay, I got my percolator. It says add coffee to taste. We're just going to dump some in. Now it doesn't say anything about using the filter. So I don't know how the coffee grounds are actually going to stay in there. Level it out a little. Now you can see it starting to steam a little bit or smooth. Top back on. There we go. We'll go ahead and let that boil for a while. Okay, you can see it started boiling, but you can also see there's coffee grounds up in here now. And it's making a mess back here on the stove. It's got stuff splattered all over. So I'm going to go ahead and take it off the heat. Yeah, the handle still got a little hot. I don't know if you can see that, but coffee got splattered all over the place. Now, I'm going to use a glass so we can see what it looks like. Now, it didn't say nothing about taking the percolator out. We're going to go ahead and let that cool off for a little bit. Okay, it's been a little while now. I don't see new coffee grounds in it. Hey, that's one strong cup of coffee. Um, the thing I didn't like about it 
was when the grounds came up. I don't know if I need finer grounds. I'm just using the Great Value brand decaf coffee from Walmart. Another thing I didn't like about it, see how hard it is to get that off. And I didn't like how you couldn't center the percolator. You had to mess around with it a little bit. So for the first run, not knowing if it was the coffee grounds themselves that caused that problem with them coming up through the holder and the percolator or the basket, I can't really take off points for that because I don't know if it was me or not. But for it not being an easy removal of the lid, I'm going to have to say I'm taking a half a star. I finally got a half a star off for that. And not being able to get centered, I'm going to say another half a star. Let's take a closer look here since I got the lid off. You can see where the coffee grounds came through. So, uh, I don't know. I might have to get bigger grinds. So, once again, I'm going to say probably a 4 out of 5. I'll have a link to it down in the description box. Do me a favor, click on the channel logo to subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching.